Hey guys, Block Squad 1000 here, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we did some shrines, most of uh, the, both of which were pretty tough shrines, actually. There was the one where we had to go and uh, investigate the statues of the seven heroines, um, and find out how to uh, match the, like, we had to basically find a way to unlock the shrine by matching the, the orbs with all the symbols on them with their respective heroines. And then there's this one where we had to try to, uh, put the orbs inside their respective symbols, or whatever, uh, in all of this rain and thunder and stuff. But both of them, I wanted to get them out of the way because they were pretty challenging, and, you know, might as well. Uh, but now... I think I know where we're going to head. We are going to head down here towards the Forgotten Temple. Uh, hold on a sec. Okay, it's this way. This place is very important, actually. Uh, because, it, well, it'll, it'll make sense to us the farther we get into the game, but for now, we might as well go do it, because there is a shrine in there, of course. But the actual use for the temple will not be revealed to us for quite a while, so... Let's just head over there. Is it raining again? No. <laughs> I thought it was raining again. I was like, seriously? We just cleared the rain out of this place. Uh, okay. Do we have any Revali's Gales? Yes, we do. Okay, we'll save that so we can climb up this cliff right here, because that is a pretty tall cliff. I don't really think we'll be able to climb that with the current stamina we have. Okay. Let's get over here, and... Oh! That barely hit, that just barely missed us. Okay, let's go, Revali. Ravioli. Okay. Just gonna climb up here and not fall to our deaths, and... Because that would really suck. Imagine Link dying after all this time by just slipping and falling to his death. You know, <laughs> I, I often think about how hilarious it would be, like, if a death in a game is canon... It's like, just imagine some, like, random thing happening, and then the protagonist of a game dies, and then that leads to the world ending or something like that. It's just hilarious to think about. It's like, oh, God, it is raining. But, oh, God, we're not going to make this, are we? Okay, let's, do we have any stamina potions? Any at all? No, we don't. This is bad. This is very bad. Can we, can we climb this? Please, can we climb this? This is very cheap, but it's working, apparently. Come on, come on, come on. I don't think we're going to make it. Nope. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We're so close, we're so close. Just keep going. Oh my god, are we actually going to do this? We... Yeah, take that rain. We actually, we actually outsmarted you this time. <laughs> oh boy. You know... I do love how, I do love how you can do that as a way to sort of like bypass the rain, but once again, it's an example of how the rain is kind of a heavily flawed mechanic in this game. I don't know, you could just be climbing and then it just starts raining. I don't mind the rain quite as much as most people do because, you know, it's, I, I just, I think it is kind of a necessary mechanic in some ways, it does kind of require you to go around and look for new routes and stuff like that, but it sucks whenever you're climbing something and you're so close to the top and then it just starts raining. Like, why does it have to happen? Why can't... Why can't... It, I wish that they would make it so that it doesn't rain when you're climbing something, because that is a little bit stupid. Um, as a whole, I don't think it's that bad of a mechanic, but it's certainly something that's flawed, and I hope that in the next game they do kind of tweak it a little bit. If they do bring it back at all, I hope that they do, because it does make the world feel more realistic whenever there's a weather system and stuff. Um, okay. So we're gonna go down here. There's that enemy camp that we took out a couple of... a, a while ago. Not not a couple episodes ago. It was quite a while ago, actually. Um, but down here, we will be pretty close. Alright. So the Forgotten Temple we're about to come across, it's right down there, and it is a very, very cool area. It's something that, um, there's a lot of theories about it. Uh, Zeltic, a really, really good YouTuber, in case you didn't know, you should 
go check him out. Seriously, if you're a Zelda fan, go check him out because he is an amazing Zelda YouTuber. But um, yeah, he he, uh, he did a theory a little while ago about the Forgotten Temple, and he believes that it's supposed to be. Um, I believe that he thinks that it's supposed to be Skyloft. I'm trying to remember exactly what that theory was, but it was either that or it was like the sealed temple um, from Skyward Sword. Yeah, he believes that this place is heavily related to Skyward Sword and that it's like the sealed grounds, which I think is a pretty cool theory because uh, if you watch his theory, it does have some pretty good evidence surrounding it. Um... I personally, I don't know, I think that out of his theories, it might be one of the few that I think is a bit of a stretch, but it still does have some evidence uh, supporting it, so, you know, there is some, it's not, like, completely baseless or anything. But, uh, anyways, we're gonna change into some more fitting clothing here, because the place we're about to go into kind of demands that. You'll see why. Um, okay. Okay, can you screw off that? Also, we should really just equip some weapons or something, because I don't know why we don't have... Oh, that's right, because last episode we were in the thunder and we didn't want to get electrocuted, but still, it's kind of funny how we're just running around without any weapons. Uh, let's not use the Daybreaker just yet. We'll save that for something more fitting. I don't know, maybe a boss fight or something. Okay, here we go, into the one, the only Forgotten Temple. First, we gotta kill these choo-choos, though. Can you just leave me alone and let me take in the magnificence of this temple? You know? This is a very important part of the game. Okay. So as we can see, the front entrance is sealed off. So the only way to go in is around. We gotta go through this window up here on this viewing platform. Kind of cool. Kind of like the, uh... The Great Plateau, how the entrance is sealed off, and the only way to enter it is by climbing over it. Uh, oh wait, that's not how you get in. Uh, we gotta go over here. And then we are about to get greeted by something pretty fucking bonkers. Okay, are you ready, guys? This right here. Forgotten Temple is full of guardians, and they are all going to murder you. Okay. Here's where stuff gets kind of crazy. We gotta, we gotta be masters of parrying. Come on. There we got one, and we got sniped by the other one. <laughs> That's okay. At least we took one out. And that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, do we have any fairies or anything? No, we probably don't. Shoot, uh, we should definitely heal ourselves. My god, um, let's eat... Okay, let's eat this, this, and I don't know, let's eat this so we have more defense. Come on, come at me, bro. I'm gonna fuck you up. There we go. I knew I would. I would have been embarrassed if I'd screwed that up. Okay, you know what? All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna skip through that guy, and now do we have the Master Sword with us? We have it, and it's nearly broken. Okay, let's just, all right, fine. Let's use the Ancient Blade Saw. It's kind of a waste, but hey, these things are meant to take down Guardians, so better. what better time to use it but now? Okay. Oh, geez, we need to pull out our bow. Um. <laughs> Obviously, because we have, they, they are pretty sensitive to getting shot in the eye, just like I imagine most people would. Um, using that as a good tactic, of course. Can we take him out? There we go. You're not gonna snipe me, snipe me with your lasers today, buddy. But isn't this just a great example of how far we've come? At the beginning of the game, the guardians were our worst nightmares, and now we can deal with them almost effortless, effortlessly. Um. Okay, shoot him in the eye. And, okay. Feel my lightsaber chainsaw. I was gonna say feel my steel, but that doesn't make sense in this concept. <laughs> in this context, not this concept. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> I've mentioned before how much I love the fact that this game kind of has, like, technology in it, but just saying that out loud sounds absolutely ridiculous. Like, seriously, it's Zelda, and we have lightsaber chainsaws. It's, it's fucking bonkers. Alright, um... Hello, my cat is here now. Uh, alright, I'm just... Oh! Get back here, ancient parts. I need to use you to make more ancient stuff. And it's funny how the ancient stuff is more modern than the modern stuff in this game. Alright, here we are now. Come on now. I'm gonna parry your laser back at you. There we go. <laughs> so as you can see, that was only one of them. There's still plenty more in here that we have to deal with. Uh, first of all, there's this one. We're gonna take care of him first. And I'm gonna save the blade saw for a little bit later. I'm gonna use the edge of duality here. Okay, it broke. <laughs> Should've figured. Okay, we'll use this. And it's dead. It didn't even spot us. <laughs> kind of sad. I feel but kind of bad for him. He's probably like, where is that... Why am I dying? Why am I literally dying right now? He couldn't he couldn't see me. Alright. We're gonna take you out. Alright, there's a laser pointing right at us. We're going to Alright, fine. Use the blade saw again. And you know what? Urbosa's fury. Ha 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 that took the other one out. Okay, run, 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 run. Run like hell! Run like hell! Oh boy. That was close. Just gonna pick up all this stuff. And you know, I'll go pick up the other stuff as well. Might as well. Oh, that was hairy. Okay. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Um, let's see here. Alright, I'm gonna, you know, I'll keep using this. Night shield. Run. Keep running, keep running. Oh, and that broke the other one. Oh, I, I thought I could parry that, but I couldn't. Okay. There we go. Last one over here. Come on, bro. And... That's not it. Okay, fine. We'll take you out the legit way. I mean, to be fair, taking you out, taking you out with the parry is more than the legit way, because that is awesome. And actually kind of hard to pull off if you're not practiced enough, but... Still. <laughs> Seriously, just imagine that, just a, a laser that can literally disintegrate you goes flying at you and you have the balls to just parry it back. That's so cool. Anyways, here's our shrine, but we, what we really need to look at is this. This big, big goddess statue. This is the biggest one in the game, as we have clearly seen. And this is kind of where the theory about this place being uh, the sealed grounds from... Uh, Skyward Sword comes from. It's because of the fact that in that game, the giant goddess statue from Skyloft fell down and fell in place in the sealed grounds. So, you know, it's kind of cool to think about that. I, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's, uh, I don't know. It's a little bit hard to believe because of the fact that obviously there's this whole temple built around it. I mean, obviously they could have just expanded the sealed grounds, but I don't know. It just kind of feels a little bit wonky, that theory. But even still, it is cool. And I love how you can climb on this statue as well. It's the only goddess statue where you can do that. I mean, the other ones are all so small that you probably couldn't do that, if even if you tried, but... <laughs> Alright, let's go. Down into the shrine. And naturally, it's just another blessing shrine, because... Well, I mean, getting through all those guardians was definitely quite a challenge. But, uh, you know what, I'll take it. Let's go and open this chest. What could be inside? What could it be? Great flame blade! Well, we broke enough swords as it is, so let's take it. And now let's get our spirit orb. If this gives us four, then we can go trade them in at the giant goddess statue. Is that... Four! Okay, let's go do it. 
All right, let's go and hand in those spirit orbs. Seriously, this is kind of intimidating going up to this giant statue. Okay. You have conquered the shrines and claim their spirit orbs. I should have done like a... Uh, in exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Let's go for a heart container again. You wish for another heart container, yes? Mm-hmm. I sure do. Sicko mode. I don't know why. Oh, why the fuck did I just say that? That was cringy as hell. <laughs> Come and bring peace to Hyrule. Boy, why did I just say that? That was so cringy. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so this place, we're going to have to come back here after a while because this place is going to have some pretty big significance. Um, uh, but in the meantime, we're just glad that we got that out of the way. So, where should we go next? Oh, I just realized our horse is still chilling out. Oh, it's a Pona. Um, where should we go? I actually don't really know. I haven't thought this far ahead. Um, let's see here. Let me think. Okay. You know what? God, I actually can't really decide at all. I have an idea. Okay. We're going to go over here. We're going to go over here. Um, this place to Rabia Plain. Okay. So, I think that what we're going to want to put on right now is the Sheikah gear. The stealth outfit because what we're about to do is going to require us to be sneaky sneaky boys um, and girls I don't know <laughs> I don't really know who's watching this video but uh anyways we are going to oh I'm just gonna go pick up the blue nightshade over there um, and anyways what we got to do is we got to head over oh my god I see a Korok seed and it's uh, it's tempting do I want to go out of my way to go get it Yes, I do. Am I? What am I kidding? Let's go. Uh, let's go get that Korok, and then we will go to Rabia Plain. Please don't run out of stamina. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Don't run out of stamina. I don't want to fall, and then uh, we're gonna fall, aren't we? Oh, just barely. Oh, oh, that sucks. Okay, fine. We'll use Rivali's Gale instead. It's quicker and. Less, I mean, it's a waste of Arvali's Gale, but hey, it'll come back eventually. Okay, let's go and get those apple trees over there. Also, it's getting kind of stormy out, so we should, uh, should be careful in case it starts thundering, because then we have to take off our metal gear and stuff, because we'll, uh, <laughs> metal gear sell it! <laughs> that was unintentional, but... Anyways, anyways, um, let's go. So we, I don't know if we've seen any of these types of Korok puzzles before, but of course, the trick is to just match the trees equally. Yeah, you found me. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, so what we're about to do right now is. Oh boy, this is one that I kind of suck at, uh, this particular shrine, so hopefully this doesn't go horribly for me. Uh, we have to go to do a shrine quest, and it involves a familiar face. Somebody who I have spoken a lot of praise of, one of my favorite characters in this game. Um, so I have to remember, I think he's over there on that little hill near those trees. So we'll... We'll head over in that direction. There's also a fire burning right here. I think there's somebody we can speak to over there. Also, this particular area, from what I remember... Oh, it's a Yiga dude. Yeah, that's right. Um, have we seen this before? These guys will try to assassinate you all over the world, considering the fact that we killed uh, Ma Master Koga. The Yiga dudes will now assassinate us whenever chance possible. So they will just randomly spawn and try to kill you. 
I don't know if we've seen it before, but yeah, it's uh, something you gotta get used to, because as soon as you do the uh, the Giga Clan hideout mini dungeon, then that's gonna happen all over the world for you, so careful. Anyways, I'm gonna speak to this person here. Hey. Oh, so you heard me humming, eh? I, I didn't actually. I'm Eric. I'm traveling the world on a journey of self-discovery. I'm heading for Zoro's domain now, but I'm lost. I was just about to give up. But then, like, I heard a voice coming from the North Tower. Aww. Crossing the Rutala River will be next to impossible, though. Zora's Domain. Ah. Zora's Domain is home of the Zora, to town in Laneru. But crossing the Rutala River is impossible. Mm. It's a hard place to get to, so I just gave up altogether. Uh, Alright, let's say goodbye to you. And then we're gonna go... And meet... I think you can already hear who it is. It's Mr. Cass. Uh, Mr. Birdman himself. Let's go say hi to him and see what he's got. Because this is another quest that we can accept from him. Hello, friend. Crown of Bone. Oh, pardon me. I didn't think anyone was around. Ah, I knew we'd meet again, though I never imagined it would be here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Ooh. Excellent! Without further ado. A beast that wears a crown of bone, prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne, for only then the shrine is seen. Suppose the lush green could refer to this place, but what sort of beast wears a crown of bone? There's definitely a secret hiding here, and it's, but it's beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. So, the crowned beast. I think it's pretty clear what that means. We gotta find a deer, and we gotta mount it, and then ride it over here towards the shrine receptacle thing. Now, as you are aware, deer are not very easy to approach because they scare very easily, but in this, I don't know. We gotta try our best here. There's one over there. Since we have the stealth gear, we might have an easier time, but whenever I do this quest, I kind of suck at it. You just, I don't know. But at least we'll get to see what it's like to ride a deer in this game, because I don't think we've seen it yet. Anyways, can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do it first try? Come on. I'm scared he's gonna start running any second now. Just go very slowly. We did it! Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Oh boy. That was cool. First try. I was worried I was going to be here for ages. But nope. Anyways, so as we can see here, uh, deer do not have any stamina. So they just kind of prance around. They're a little bit hard to control. but And also you can't take them to stables. You can only ride them as long as you're riding them. But then when you get off, then... Well, they're probably going to run away. But we're going to go over here. And... There we go. That was easier than expected. And up comes the shrine. Why don't we speak to Cass now that we solved it? I get it now. The crown of bone refers to antlers. Of course there's a mountain. Of course that's a mountain buck. Those majestic creatures are a bit like the kings of the forest, aren't they? Your exploits here could be their own heroic song, you know. Take care. May the light illuminate your path. Oh man, I love Cass. He's such a gentle character. I just... I just like running into him on the world. He just... He just kind of brings a lot of positivity and stuff. Brings a lot of hope to this desolate world, where there isn't a lot of hope at all. Anyways, the Mezalo Shrine. The, uh, as we can see, we are very, very close to Zora's Domain. Over there is where it is. And we're going to head over there very soon. Not probably in about five more episodes. We're just going to get a bunch more shrines, and then we're probably going to head off there. But, um... This is a very nice spot, actually. I like this view quite a bit. I like how you can see right into the Lanera region, but then you can also see over here, over towards Hyrule Field. It's like, 
I don't know, it gets very mountainous and then very flat. It's pretty cool. We're going to go in and solve the shrine, and then we're going to end the episode off. Also, of course, there's that giant tree right there, which looks really, really cool. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to remember what shrine this is. I don't really remember, to be honest. What could it be? Ancient Trifecta. Oh, I think I do remember this one, actually. Uh, this one is pretty creative, actually. Okay, um... What we gotta do is... I think we're gonna need this big metal box right here. As you can see, it shines the laser over here. Okay, so I was wrong. We don't need that just yet. What we need to do is bring... That platform over this way. And now... We're gonna place a bomb right here. So, if I remember correctly, here's how it's gonna work. We have to... First, remove this box right there. If I can actually reach it. I can't actually. That's not good. Uh, okay, I think I know what actually has to be done. I'm just gonna flip it a bunch of times until it comes over here again. Alright, we're... It's a very inefficient way of doing it, to be honest. Wait, is it going to do it? Why isn't it coming over? Okay, that's... Alright, one more. <laughs> this is an extremely inefficient way of doing it. I don't know why I'm not just going over there and hitting it with my sword. But anyways. I think what we're going to have to do is just do that. And drop it. And... Okay, we're going to grab this chest first. That's a thunder blade. Our inventory is full, of course it is. Uh, eventually we should go upgrade our inventory slots because we're... I don't know, we have enough Korok seeds, I believe. Okay. So now, what I believe we have to do is... First of all, take some arrows out and then shoot the thing again. So it'll go over here. And then... Oh, shoot! I did not think this through very well. Okay, I know it has to be... Okay. Well, that was kind of dumb. But what we actually need to do is something a bit different. We need to have this box with us. Alternatively, we could use that chest, which maybe is a better idea. You know what? Let's do that instead. All right. We're, we're going to try this one more time. Take the... Uh... Okay, we'll do that. I <laughs> completely forgot how this works. Okay, pick up the box. And... You know what? I am going to use the block, actually. Why not? We're going to go drop it over there. Cool. And that opens the door. Now we will do that. Switch to the bombs, and then we're all set. Awesome. Let's go. That was a pretty cool shrine, I have to admit. I really like that one. It requires you to really... Uh, really think about how to utilize all your tools... Eff effectively, you know? Well, guys, I think that's a good place to end things off. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Next time... Well, more shrines, you know. <laughs> you know the deal at this point, but... I think where we're going to head off is somewhere over here towards the Akala region. We can't see it on the map because we haven't actually unlocked... It's technically part of Lanayru, so we haven't unlocked it yet, but there's some place over here which we should. I want to go check out. See you guys later. Bye! <laughs>